Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can customize the backgrounds of the publication pages themselves using the various fill effect formatting that can also be applied to shapes and pictures. To display the available default page background choices, click the background drop-down button in the page background button group that appears on the page design tab within the ribbon. You can click on any of the choices in the drop-down list to apply it to your currently selected page as a background. You can click the No Background choice in the same drop-down menu to remove a page background that you have applied to a page. If you want to create a custom page background, then select the More Backgrounds command from the drop-down menu that appears when you click the Background button to display the fill category within the Format Background task pane. You can use this to fill the background of the page with a custom design. To apply a solid color as your page background, select the Solid Fill Option button. Then use the Color drop-down to select the desired color to apply. You can use the Transparency slider to set the level of color transparency to apply. If you need to select a specific color not available in the Color Buttons drop-down palette of choices, then select either the More Colors command to open the Colors dialog box, or select the Tints command to open the Tints dialog box. If you open the Colors dialog box, you can then select any color you want within the tabs in the Colors dialog box, and then click the OK button to apply it. If you open the Tints dialog box, select a color and then a tint to apply, and then click the OK button to apply it. To apply a gradient background, choose the Gradient Fill option button in the Format Background task pane. Choose one of the preset gradients by making a selection from the Preset Gradients drop-down. To make a custom gradient, use the buttons and sliders shown to customize the gradient. You can use the Type drop-down to select the type of gradient to use. Linear, which changes colors from one side to another across a straight line, or Path, which follows the path of a line that you draw. If you select Linear, select the specific variation to use from the Direction drop-down. You can change the angle at which the gradient changes colors by entering the desired angle in degrees into the Angle spinner box. The Gradient Stop section allows you to set the number and appearance of changing points within the gradient's color scheme. At its most basic level, a gradient must have at least two gradient stops. For example, if a gradient changed from black to white in a linear fashion, it would have at least two gradient stops. You can have more if desired. In the Gradient Stop section, click a gradient stop to select the gradient stop whose properties you want to set. You can click and drag a gradient stop to change its position within the gradient, or you can enter its position as a percentage into the Position spinner box. You can then use the Color drop-down to set what color you want the gradient to be at that particularly selected point. You can use the Transparency slider to set the transparency level of the selected color. To add more gradient stops, you can simply click into the gradient line at the spot where you wish to place the new gradient stop. Note that you can also click the Add Gradient Stop button that appears to the right of the gradient as well. To remove a gradient stop, select the Gradient Stop to delete, and then simply click the Remove Gradient Stop button to delete it. Back at the top of the task pane, within the Fill Category Options, you can choose the Picture or Texture Fill option button to fill the page background with a texture or another image of your choosing. Textures are simply preset images included in Publisher. To apply a preset texture, select a choice from the Texture drop-down. To use a picture located on your computer, click the File button to open the Insert Picture dialog box where you can select the image from your computer to insert. Note that you could also simply copy an image to use, and then click the Clipboard button to paste the copied contents of your clipboard into the background. To insert an online picture into the background, click the Online button to open the Insert Pictures window where you can search for online pictures to insert into the background of the image. Set the amount of transparency to apply to the selected background image by using the Transparency slider. To tile or repeat the background image, check the Tile Picture as Texture checkbox. Then in the Tiling Options section, select the Offset X and Offset Y options to set the amount of horizontal and vertical offset to apply to the tiled background image. Use the Scale X and Scale Y spinner boxes to set the percentage of the image to display within the tiled background. Then use the Alignment drop-down to set the alignment of the background image within the page. Then you can use the Mirror Type drop-down to select the type of reflection to apply to the tiled image in the background. If you deselect the Tile Picture as Texture checkbox, you will instead see Offset options for the image appear. 
You can use the offset left, offset right, offset top, and offset bottom spinner boxes to input the percentage by which the image should be offset from the selected side. To set a pattern fill for the page background, you would instead choose the pattern fill option from the top of the fill options section. Then select a desired pattern to use for the fill of the image from the choices shown in the pattern section. Then use the foreground color and background color dropdowns to set the desired foreground and background colors to use for the selected fill pattern. When you have finished setting the page background as you would like it, simply click the OK button within the Format Background Task pane to apply it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.